It's Laura Eubanks and Bentley the Succulent Dog of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I'm back out in my front garden. Remember this Calanchoe Lucier, the paddle plant that started to bloom and then it started to throw off what I thought were pups, but then those turned into blooms and it was just this, I didn't even know what was going on with it. And I told you I was gonna let it ride and we'd see what happens. Well, take a look. I should have taken this out months ago because it's never looked good. I mean, look at these, these flower stalks are all spent, but the thing that really is distasteful in my opinion about this is all of the damage all over the leaves. See, all these old leaves are all scarred from God knows what, insects, hail, did I mention insects? Just all kind. I, who knows? But this, this is no bueno. This is not good. Now, what I'm anticipating is that underneath all of these mama plants are going to be some babies. I've got a really gorgeous specimen right here that has not gone to flower, whose leaves still look great. See here? Look at these unmodeled leaves. This is this is the gold standard here. This. Not so much. See what happens when a leaf starts to decidu deciduate? It starts to get pilled and old and crappy looking. I'm not a big fan of that look. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these flowering specimens and see what's underneath. Well, no big surprises there. I've got, here's a baby, a little guy. So I'll remove him from mom. And the rest of this, I'm just going to discard. Oh, here's some nice looking babies, little guys, harvest them. How this guy has flowered. See how the flower comes right up from the middle of the stalk? This is a goner. There's there's no nothing to redeem there. Now, these babies were attached to this good-looking specimen here. So I am, I don't want to deal with all of this. So I'm going to cut this stem. and all of the roots and the stem will discard. I'll take off these leaves that are tired looking. That there is snail damage. And because I live in San Diego, and because it's the end of April, and because I'm able to control the amount of water that my garden gets, I'm gonna go ahead and set this right back into the ground without waiting for the cut to harden off. If you have any concerns about rot, if you're, you know, you're subject to a lot of irrigation or to rain, um, you might want to let this wound harden off in a cool, dry place for a few days before putting it back in the ground. But out here in San Diego, we're good to go. Now, it seemed like a really great idea at the time. Um, a year and a half ago when I planted this garden, I, you know me, I like to plant in groups. So I have aloe vera, kalanchoe, crassula fungulata. I have some um, crassula argentea over there, uh, all growing together in this space. But I'm going to have to move some things around in order to get at these kalanchoes. So don't be afraid to do that. I don't have a problem with these aloes, but they're in the way of me getting to the Kalanchoe, so I'm gonna pull them out too. See that? Not a whole lot of root action going on there anyway. So that was easy. Now this popcorn aloe, you see the white stuff all over the popcorn aloe here? This is actually from the Kalanchoe. The Kalanchoe, much like a Dudleya, 
actually puts off a little bit of white powder. This acts as a protectant from the elements. Uh, it protects the, the leaf from sunburn, uh, can keep it warm, can keep, um, can keep uh, moisture in the leaves. This is not a disease on this plant. This white kind of chalky coating on the leaves is completely normal, not to worry. If this were mealybug, I would see it. I would see little tiny mealybugs running around all over the place and it would be kind of like a, kind of like lint. This is just a powder. Okay, now I can get after this one. Yeah. Oh, this looks so bad. And the more I get into it, the worse it looks. I've got some more pups though that I can harvest. Start brand new baby plants with all the pups. Could you take this leaf and propagate from this leaf? I don't know. I've never tried. If you'd like to try to see if you could propagate with your Kalanchoe, give it a shot. Take the leaf, set it on some dry soil in a pot, just like this, put it in the shade, and leave it alone. If it's going to propagate, you'll get a brand, brand new baby plantlet from this area right here. So you don't stick the leaf into the soil you lay it flat because if you're going to get a new plant, it's going to be right from the cut. All right, I'll take this opportunity to clean up. Now, I can reset my aloes and my Lucier. This, these roots on this popcorn aloe are kind of bugging me because if I'm going to reset it with its roots, it means I'm going to have to dig a hole. And you all know that I'm not a big fan of digging holes because that sounds way too much like work. Also, this popcorn aloe, I like the top part, but I'm not a big fan of the stem. So I'm going to go ahead and work with this as a cutting instead of planting it as a rooted specimen. So I'll just cut that part off, and now I have this cute little top piece, and in start, instead of having to dig a hole, I can use my multi-tool and just scratch up the surface. I'm gonna pack it back in right next to this Crassula argentia, right there. Now I'll take my aloe vera, trim up these roots a little, because I just don't need them. And remember, I'm in no hurry for this aloe vera to grow. I want it to stay about this size. So the more I distress the roots, the slower it's gonna take it to grow. And I'm gonna pack the aloe vera in right up next to the popcorn aloe, like so. Then, scratch up a little hole. Hey, you're in the way. Bentley, we're trying to shoot a video here. Can you excuse? Come here. Here, bud, come over here. Sorry. Come here, bud. Come on, move. That's a good boy. I'm going to take this Kalanchoe, set it right here. Remember what I always say, if your succulent stands up, you've done your job. So I'm going to push my lava rock around it. You know, I, I bet this looks really good from Greg's angle, but from my angle, I'm seeing the butt of this Crassula undulata, and I'm not loving what I'm seeing. So, while I'm at it, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to cut it up for parts. This is what I was objecting to, the trunk. Didn't like that, it was a little top heavy. I just wanna see the pretty top parts. So I will just set those pretty top parts right back in the ground, nice and tight. See, look, I can fill in these gaps. Create a little bit of a different look. I think we'll, we'll do kind of like a necklace. We'll work the Crassula 
excuse me, all the way around. What do you think, Bentley? Right? Not better? So much better, huh? Yeah, that looks nice and full. Then I've got some pieces left over. I can plant somewhere else along with all my Kalanchoe pups. Look at all my waste, all my cleanup. This is fantastic. Uh-oh, no it's not. Now the sunset jade looks weird. So I'm gonna pull that out too. Remember, this was planted as a cutting a year and a half ago. So you can see that there's not much of a root system, system established, which is another benefit. Makes it really easy to work with. So again, I'll take pieces off of this plant and I shall reset them. So my presentation is more compact. And remember, the suggestion of soil is really all that's needed for these ends. They don't actually have to be planted per se. As long as this gets close to the soil or the ground or the rock, we're good. The roots will figure it out. Succulents are very intelligent plants. So I just want to kind of pump this up a little bit. This is going to yellow up a lot more too now that I've cut its head off. Very stressed out. Oh yeah, this is much better. Put my rock up all up under there. I love working with my succulents because I feel so accomplished. After just five minutes in the garden, you know, I really feel like I've done something. So there you have it. Oh my goodness, that looks so fresh and so clean and so new. I'm so happy with this. This has been Laura Eubanks and Bentley the Succulent Dog reporting from my garden in Chula Vista, California with your succulent tip of the day.